Dubs, welcome back. Today we have the Lorac Pro 3 to show you and I'm so excited to show you the palette. I just got it in the mail and I wanted to show you guys swatches, a review on it, and also this makeup look that I created using this palette. I really think this palette is perfect for those of you that love nudes like me. And of course if you love Lorac makeup brand, you will love this eyeshadow palette too. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you some of the swatches that I have for you. The very first shade is Blanc. Blanc to me is a very nice beigey, just a nude color. It's overall perfect for setting your primer in place and just setting down the tackiness of that primer so that way you can start blending in on your shadows because that way the tackiness doesn't allow the shadows to skip. So I thought it was a perfect shade. The next shade is Canvas. Now Canvas is more of a beigier, car, not, what am I talking about? It's more of a beigier shade, but it's definitely a step up from Blanc. It's not so white. It's just a nice beige color. This is also perfect for blending into the crease and just setting down the primer as well. That's usually what I tend to do when I have shades like this. It's just to set down the primer and just use it as a nice buffing transition color. The next shade is Cool Taupe. Now Cool Taupe is more cooler tone to me in my opinion and it's definitely a nice beigey brown. Now it's more cooler tone so I feel like there's some cooler tones in this palette so I feel like you can actually play around and just you know broaden your horizons, try something new, use cooler tone shades and I think that's a beautiful transition color to try a cool tone makeup look. The next shade is Pink Nude, and Pink Nude would have to be one of my favorite matte shades to try in the crease and to transition with, just because I feel like it sets the tone for a nice purpley, pinky makeup look that you're going for. That's what I would love to use when I do Pink Nude. That's the kind of makeup look I love to go for. The next shade is Clay. Clay is definitely a nice warm, between a warm and a cool tone. I think this is, I mean, no, this can't be warm. I'm actually swatching it now. It looks more cool tone, but it's more of a medium brown. And I actually use this one in the crease, and you'll see that later on in this video. The next one is Terracotta. Now, Terracotta is a very nice, warm, camel -y color. I love it because it's tan, it's warm, and I feel like you can use this shade also for bronzing or contouring on some skin tones because a lot of these eyeshadows you can use for just more than one thing, not just eyeshadow. The next shade is Dark Brown. Now Dark Brown is cooler tone to me in my opinion. Definitely a perfect shade to deepen up the crease, especially when you want to give the outer corner a nice definition. I think it's a perfect shade for that. Next shade is Jet Black. Now Jet Black is exactly how it's described. It's just super black. I think it's perfect to have a black in a palette just because you want to darken up the crease or darken up the outer corner just a little bit with the black and it's not, it's very pigmented but of course when you blend it out it's nice and faded. Now moving on to the shimmer row, the first row was matte as you can see. The first row is light gold. Now light gold is a beautiful highlight shade. I love this one because you can use it for highlighting your face and also highlighting the inner corners, the brow bone whatever your heart desires. I love it because it's beautiful. It's not shimmery at all. It has a nice sheen or satin feel to it and it's very smooth. Next shade is Almond Pearl and I haven't used this one yet but swatching it on my arm it looks like a nice pinky sheen and I love it because it's very subtle. It's not too sparkly. It's not too shimmery at all. It's very subtle. You can just put this all over the lid or highlight the inner corner as well. Next shade is Medallion. Medallion is a nice cool toned shimmery one, but it I can't make out whether it's a pink one or a bronzy one. It looks like a cool toned taupe to me, but I can't make out the shade. I'm probably really bad at naming the shades and describing them, so forgive me if I'm incorrect. Next shade is Light Pewter. Light Pewter to me, it's like exactly how it says. It's a nice pewter color, it's cool tone and it looks taupey at the same time. I haven't tried that one, so I'm excited to try that. Next shade is Amethyst. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have that all over the outer corner and into the crease blended into my shadow, and it is a gorgeous purple. Now, to me, it has like a little bit of burgundy in it and a slight sheen to it, so it's not so much as purple as it is burgundy. It has a hint of both of them, so I thought it was really, really beautiful. 
Next shade is Rose Brown, which is one of my favorite shades, but I feel like since I blended it on the lid on top of Blanc, I feel like I, mu I should have gone with Rose Brown first on the lid to get true color pigmentation because Rose Brown is a beautiful shade. It's rosy and not Rose Brown, Rose Bronze. It's a beautiful shade and it's rosy and it's bronzy. I love rose shades like that. The next shade is called Dark Mocha. Now Dark Mocha is it looks like a chocolate color to me in my opinion and it's really beautiful like I feel like I see a little bit of a rose sheen in there but it's more bronzier also and the last shade in the palette is called truffle now this is a nice charcoal gray when you don't want to resort to black I thought it was beautiful for that and it has a little bit of sparkle in there but it's not too strong but I love that because, of course, you can apply just a little bit in the outer corner and just darken it up just a little bit. So those are all the shades that I swatched out for you. And they're very beautiful. And, of course, they're perfect for the daytime. I see this palette perfect for the daytime because it's just amazing. They're beautiful. They're all nude colors with just hints of a colorful, darker choice here and there. But I love that. I love a palette that has the majority of nudes but then gives you an option to have a couple of them here and there to darken up or change up the look from day to night pretty much. The packaging is very nice and it's very slim. I love it. I think it's perfect for travel. My only concern is of course the outer part does get dirty but you can always clean that up and it's not a big deal. Now I feel like with all Lorac shadows, it's pretty much the same for every shadow in Lorac palette that I've ever had. There is a lot of fallout. I've noticed that when I was doing my makeup look, there's tons and tons of fallout. So if you are very rough with your shadows, try not to be or you will get a ton of fallout. And especially when you apply it with the, with your brush, when you apply it directly to your eyes, you want to tap off the X. Tap off. You want to tap off the excess because the fallout is going to go all over your face. I did get some fallout, but I tapped off my brush so many times to make sure that it wouldn't fall on my face. That's the only thing that I don't really like. But as soon as it falls on your face, just take a quick stippling brush and just wipe it away so that it doesn't stay there because it can get part of your foundation unless you start doing makeup with your eyes first. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the review, the swatches, and the makeup look. So if you guys would like to see the look that I created using this Lorac Pro 3 palette, then go ahead and keep on watching. So in the pouring rain, FedEx came with a package. How sweet is that? You guys get excited when you get a package at your door. This is actually from Jouer. I wanted to show you guys real quickly because knowing me, I'm going to forget like I always do. I got a package from Jouer. My goodness. This is definitely a stay in rainy, stormy kind of day to just, oh my goodness, oh. Okay, so I got the Mermaid Iridescent Eyeshadow Palette. Woo, look at that, oh my goodness. How beautiful is this? Yeah, you guys will be seeing this in a video soon. I promise you that I'm gonna put it to the side for now because I'm getting a little too excited and this video is all about something else, another eyeshadow palette. I have such a mess here, but today we're going to be playing with the Lorac Pro Palette 3, yay! It's like, I haven't even opened this palette. I haven't because I wanted to use it with you guys for the first time here on camera. So this is the palette, this is how it looks. The front, I mean pretty much every single Lorac palette from the Pro Series comes packaged the same way. <laughs> Pardon the thunderstorm. I'm actually doing all these videos at once because I only have like one day a week to film and I, I don't like that I pre-film but I try to get as many videos up for you guys. So the Pro Palette 3, it comes with a little mini behind the scenes eyeshadow primer. All right, so I primed my eyes with the primer that it came with, the um, behind the scenes eyeshadow primer, and I remember using this primer a very long time ago, and I felt like it didn't work for me because I felt like the primer was way too liquidy for my liking, and of course I have oily lids, so I don't know, let's give it another shot, shall we? Let's do blank. Blank is between a light white and a beigey color mixed in. It's very matte and I think it's perfect to set the primer down so that it has no tackiness. Now 
The next shade I'm going to be taking is Clay, which is this one right here. And this one's like a medium brown. It's very light and it looks a little cool tone to me. So I'm going to try that and just buff it into my crease. Right, right there. Yeah, it's just a little bit of fallout, so I always top off the excess anyway because I don't like too much extra shadow to fall onto my face. Go back in with a blending brush and blend everything out so it's nice and seamless. Next, I'm going to be taking Rose Bronze, which is this one right here. Really beautiful color. I love it. Just exactly how the name describes it, Rose Bronze. I'm going to take that and apply it all over to the lid with a flat shader brush. Let's put another shadow on the lid. I'm going to put Medallion. I want to try Medallion. I'm getting a lot of fallout underneath my eyes, so I just want to buff it away as fast as I can because I don't want it to sit there. All right, so I applied medallion, but I don't. I see very slight of a difference, and I'm I'm thinking it's because I use uh, blanc on the lid, so I feel like that kind of blanked it out, so I couldn't get the exact pigment. But I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade Am amethyst. Amethyst. I'm thinking that's how I say it, but I'm not sure. And I'm just going to go in with a crease brush. Alright, so I'm going to be moving on to highlighting the inner corner and the brow bone. For that, I'm going to be using the light gold. And I am going to be mixing it with blanc because I want to see what kind of effect it has. So, I'm going to highlight now. I think light gold is a beautiful highlight shade for the inner corner and I mixed it in with Blanc on the brow bone so it looks really pretty and I'm just gonna go back and blend everything out so it looks all nice and seamless moving on to the lower lash line I'm just gonna go ahead and take the shades that I used for the crease and that would be clay and amethyst and I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line just a little bit Alright, so this is the completed look, and I just added some blush, bronzer, and highlight, and lipstick, and brows, and mascara, of course. I just wanted to be super quick with this makeup look, just focusing on the eyes for this palette, and I really hope you guys enjoy the look. Let me know if you guys picked up this palette, because this palette is really pretty. And I noticed that a lot of these shades on the bottom are just satin sheen shades. They're not super glittery shades. And <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but my inner corner is watering like crazy. And I guess it's because of my allergies. So I had to retouch up that. And of course, eyelashes wouldn't work either because my eye was started watering. So the glue kept detaching itself. So it's like, ugh. Okay, so no lashes today, which is fine. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you love the look. And real quickly, I just wanted to mention, you can get this palette at Ulta. I think it's exclusively at Ulta. The palette is priced at $42, and it should be, if it's not available now, I believe it's, I'll put a date somewhere around here or down below when the palette will be available. And yeah, I think it's really nice. Should you get it, in my opinion, I mean, I'm a makeup collector, I'm a makeup hoarder, I have all three of the Lorac Pro palettes. Real quickly, I wanted to show you, I do have all three of the Lorac Pro palettes. I have the very first palette, which I haven't used this palette in a very long time, and I really want to dig it out of my collection and start using it. 
again the original is very warm tone and I love the colors here of course it's it needs to be loved because I haven't used it as much I used to use this non-stop and I don't know what happened I guess a bunch of other palettes have entered my life and I felt like this one just got lost in the bunch so I need to pull that one out and play with it then I did get the Laroc La oh, the Laroc Pro 2 palette and it's this one. This one is actually more cool toned and as you can see I really broke into Nectar because Nectar was my favorite shade. Nectar and Rosé was my favorite shades out of this palette and this one definitely was loved but needs to be loved a little bit more. And I missed out on the Laroc Mega Pro, the original one. But I did get the Mega Pro 2 just not too long ago. I think it was sometime last year during the fall time was when they released this one. So I have this and now I have the Pro 3. So if you love Lorac as much as I do, I say get it because it's a beautiful palette. It's a great addition to your collection. Yes, it is similar to some shades and I think, I mean, I feel like that the Lorac company took the similar shades from the other palette and created this palette along with it. So there are some similarities, but I just, I love adding things to my collection and I love Lorac. So especially this is a nude, beautiful palette. I thought it was perfect for me because I'm a nudes girl. I love new shades. Definitely get this palette if you love nudes like me. So I really hope you guys enjoy the video, this review and the makeup look. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. It's buildable and it smells amazing and it just blends out so nicely. I actually have it on right now. Don't know if you can tell, but it's a beautiful bronzer and it just always smells like pina colada. I love it. I have mine in the shade bronzer.